Hi everybody, welcome to today's video and if you're new to my channel then welcome, my name is Eve and if you've been here before then thank you so much for coming back, it really means the world to me. I did recently just reach 250 subscribers which absolutely blows my mind in the short time that I've been doing this so there will be a giveaway video coming up very shortly so please remember and stick around and stay tuned for that. Now there's a reason why I'm wearing this sexy little dress today and it is because today's video is testing the new mini revolution um, eyeshadow palette and this is the Forever Dynamic Allure one and this one if I can remember rightly all of his names that are all a bit kind of sexy so we have names like names like Fever, Nymph, Sinner, Suave, Lovesick, Love, Hedonism those kind of names so I thought why not stick a sexy wee dress on as if we were going on a date night and I'm going to suggest my husband or something like that not that we can actually go anywhere doing just now anyway but still so as I was saying it is on the wee palette stress it's going to do my head in it is i do also have the matching lip kit and i thought i would just show you a quick comparison because i don't have the medium size one but i have got this one so this is a forever limitless which i have actually sold to someone because it's a nice palette it's just not something that i'll get that much use out of so i'll just show you a comparison between the two so this is definitely a mini version of that one. I think there is maybe some slightly different colours actually. So yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there is some differences there. The, the chilled one was a direct copy, a direct mini version of the kind of medium sized one. Now I don't have the medium sized one so I can't compare it, but just to show you that there is some similar colours, like these pinks are similar to the pink in the middle, but to my eyes, without swatching this, because I don't want to touch it again because I've sold it, it does look quite similar. So I'll just do some wee swatches in the back of my hand. So that's that's the first row, like just one swipe. They swatch all right. I think they maybe need to be built up. Like that shimmer is more of a, a topper, I'd say, which was what the one in the, um, the big palette was like. I, I would say it was more of a kind of topper shade. Okay, now that pink shimmer is pretty pigmented, that bottom one, that's a lovely colour. So I'll just give it a go, shove it on my eyes, see how well it works. So I'll just bring you a little bit closer. So like a complete idiot, I just started to do my shadow and realised I hadn't actually primed my eyelids. Now, I wasn't sure about how much eye primer actually worked, but believe me it does because eyeshadow looked crap. So I'm hoping it looks better with eyeshadow on top of it. But I can't even remember what else I was saying. I was... I don't, I don't know if I've already said so like I'm apologising if I look in a different direction like I got um, a new camera my husband bought me a camera like an actual real camera and I cannot believe it so I put away the bit that connects my phone to the TV so I can use the back camera but it was the wrong lens that he got like I would have had to sit like miles away from the camera and with my eyesight I need to be able to see the screen in the camera to see what I'm doing so I've had to exchange a new lens. So I'm just using the front facing camera because I want to make sure that I can see what I'm doing and I can't find the connector bit to connect it to TV. So that's that. And also, I'll just pop this on while I'm talking. Also, what I got was a trolley from Hobbycraft. Now, Makeup Alex, Kate and Lou Stevenson and a lot of the girls got these trolleys and oh my God, like this is my first time using it. But I did a video on organising it, so let me know if you want me to upload that. But my dressing table is like over there behind you. So what I've done with the trolley is in the top layer, and I really need some lip balm, my lips are so dry, that in the top layer of the trolley, I put in like all the stuff that I need for filming. So like my eyelash glue, like makeup, like face makeup for when I'm doing palette reviews like this, like all that kind of thing, the things that I could need but maybe forget to bring over in my bed. But having them all like right down there is, oh my God, I'm already loving it and I've only had to reach it in there like twice. But I don't know what I was saying, but I was saying I was going to take this darkest colour and I'm going to use this just to kind of map out a kind of winged shape. And that looks so much better than it did without the primer. Like primer really does work, whether it's a, a concealer or an actual primer, like that's just proved that it works. Cause when I put that down on my bare lid, it looks crap. So I'm just going to use this to start building up this kind of winged shape that I'm 
doing. Now I did fancy doing a halo actually but I think, did I do a halo for my big one, my big version of this? I don't know but I wanted to keep it kind of winged out and a wee bit sexy for this one and that is an absolutely incredible colour, that is so nice. That eyeshadow colour is just gorgeous. I think that would be so nice. Like, just, why am I this person? Do you see what I've just done there? What even colour is that? How is that even on my fingers? Ah, uh, it's fine. I need to get that on a t-shirt. It's fine. Now, I'm just hoping that colours blend on top of that because I've just wiped that away, but we move on and we fix it like i don't know if even like these people that are like absolutely incredible at their makeup like do they make mistakes like make me up myself if you're watching this like do you ever make mistakes because i know i make them all the damn time so we'll sharpen up down here with a wipe we'll do that now so I think what I need to do is kind of take this curve slightly higher. Right, that's where we're looking at just now. I know it doesn't look very good, but it will. It will. I find eyeshadow always a process, like the amount of times I hate it. And even like when I finish my eyes, I hate it. And then I do my base and I'm like, okay, that's starting to look better. So that's where we're at just now, which is the basic shape. So I'm then going to take another brush, a kind of fluffier brush, and I'll take this one because I think it's clean. Yeah, hopefully. And then the colour I'm going to take next is this one here. I'm not going to say the names because I don't have my glasses on and we all know that that's always a dangerous game for me. And we're going to use that colour to start blending that one out. Doesn't matter if I go too far here because I'll fix it. But that is a really nice colour as well. And I have taken it a bit too high, but it's fine. We'll just take it all the way up for a nice dramatic look. I'm worried about the blend on the outer corner in a minute, but what I'm going to do is take another brush, like this three spectrum one, which would be quite nice, and just take the kind of lightest colour, <sighs> wow, that looks powdery, and just use that to do this blend up at the very top where it kind of meets my brow, and then we'll go back in with the other colours and neaten it up and fix it. If I do anything interesting, I'll stop and talk to you, but if not, the rest will be sped up. And I also worry more about this kind of blend here once I've got my um, base on because if I blend it too much just now there's a chance it'll cover out the concealer anyway so no point. Okay so that's where we're at now. I know that blend isn't perfect but when is my eyeshadow ever perfect? I don't claim to be an expert, I just keep claim to be a normal person. So that's where I'm going to leave it honestly because I'll be there all day and it doesn't look that bad, I don't think. But all the shadows have blended nice, those colours complemented each other really quite well. So I'm really happy with how they looked. So what I'm going to do now is cut my crease with the P. Louise Cut Crease Canvas because I've been testing it out. I've only tried it once, I think, in one of their brushes, seeing as I have about 10 of them because they send you so many. And then I'll be right back to do the kind of the shimmer part and the fun part. 
so that is my crease cut what i'm going to do is take a wee pencil brush and take that deepest color and use this to deepen up the outer corner And I've been having trouble with patching this nighter corner and I don't know if that is the Pilary's base or not. Because I do have really quite kind of hooded eyes, like the outer corner of mine is sunk right in. So it's probably just natural, it's probably just my eye shape. And that is just what I'm going to do now and then I, I will kind of blend the shimmer in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the darker shimmer, which I can use as many as I can, and just place that kind of like here on the outer edge so I'm just going to take that with my finger that's what I do with every shimmer nearly and I'm just going to pop that down and look at that pigmentation that is nice and I do want to keep my cut crease a bit neater I think so I'm going to go in nearer the top with um, a brush to just kind of keep that a bit neat so then I'm going to take this shimmer down here Again on my finger that I've just wiped off in a wipe and just put this one down next to it and that is pretty as well. Not quite as pigmented but still very pretty and just kind of do this at this outer edge to kind of blend it in and I think that's actually maybe a dual curl. I don't know much about technical terms but that's pretty and then just because I can I'm <laughs> going to take this final shimmer and just use that neater, the kind of inner part. So I want to show you as many of the colours as I can. And that one is brighter, definitely a bit lighter. So that is how the shimmers are looking just now. I really hope you can see that. I don't know what my lighting's doing. It feels a bit darker than normal, but I'm now going to take a brush. Maybe this wee Morphe one, I quite like this. And I'm going to try it dry and I'm just going to take some of the darkest one and just use that to kind of neaten up here. That's working really well on that brush. And then wipe the brush off in the towel and then take the, the one down here, so the next one we used, and place that up here. So I use that and then again wipe that off in the towel because that's what you do and then take the lightest one and then use that to kind of finesse in here. You know it would be really pretty if you did like a kind of glitter cut crease but when I do palette reviews I do like to just use the palette but some glitter would be gorgeous and then I'm just going to take that mid-tone shade and just use that to pull it over so that it blends and then I'm going to take that wee pencil brush that I used my corner and take this colour here and just use that just to pat, pat in like this and that is how that's looking lovely kind of pink colours I don't personally love these colours on my eyes but that is very very pretty <laughs> I just wish I could have kept it sharper at the top, but I don't know how I've managed to make it not sharp, but there we go. So now I think I need to stop soon. Where's my brush went? So I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to do the other eye, my face makeup, we'll come back to do the under eyes and the lip kit. So I'll be back in a minute. So we're going to go into the lower lash line now, so if I can find the palette, here it is. We'll just keep it simple and we fly. Go away. Just keep it simple on the lower lash line, so I'm going to take my brush. Why am I this person? Like, honestly. Yeah. So, just try and keep the same brushes because I'm lazy. And I have got millions of brushes, but no, not everyone does. So I'm just going to take the darkest colour again and just use that on this outer edge. Just kind of joining up with that top and taking it most of the way in. And then I'm going to clean one of my brushes. This brush, which you'll know if you've been here before, the Morphe M562, I would not be without it. If I could only have one brush, it would probably be this one. It is amazing. It's this tiny wee detail brush. And I'm going to go back in with that kind of mid-toned, kind of pinky, mauve colour and use that to smoke that down a wee bit and also kind of smoke out up here. 
In this one, I'm bringing all the way into the inner corner. Now, I always find shadow doesn't like blend as well or um, stand out as much on my lower lash line, but that's just because I set my under eyes. So what I might try doing is like doing my under eyes while my concealer is wet. And use that it's just to swish that up there and that's too much, but that's fine. I just wave that away. So just like that. So just like that, that's all. So I'm going to do the same another eye. I'll put lashes on, we'll be back to try out the lip kit. So there we have the finished eyes. I was brave enough, stupid enough, whatever way you want to look at it, to try out this um, lash glue from Bose Beauty. And what it is, is like a kind of black liner, but it's actually a lash glue. And it actually worked quite well. I did need to go in twice, but I'm really bad at applying lashes. And also the lashes that I used were these ones from Bose Beauty. I got these and my Bo's Beauty mystery bag and oh my god they're so pretty. I'll definitely need to try out more from Bo's Beauty and I haven't put um, highlight on my inner corner and my brow bone so I'll just do that now. So I'm just going to take the pink shade from the Soap palette. So those are the eyes. I think they turned out really pretty. Normally I don't love these tones on me but I think that is pretty sexy. So on to the lip kit. So this is the Allure lip kit and it has a lip liner and two lipsticks. The lip liner is boxed and it is this one in the colour Prime. And then we have two sheer brilliant lips. One is in the colour Piece of Cake and the other one is in the colour Glorified. So I think maybe I'll try and do like you know, maybe ombre just so that I can try them out. Now I did try one of these formulas in the chilled lip kit. The video will be linked down below or up there or somewhere. And it wasn't actually my favourite formula that this kind of sheer lip. To me it was kind of sticky but I'll keep an open mind. Maybe it was just that colour like it was so pigmented. Um, but I don't know, something about the formula I wasn't keen on. My other lip liner also broke on me, but this one doesn't look as if it's broke. So I'll just wipe that lip bam away. Mm. And I'll just line the lips. Oops. Very, very pigmented. This does feel a wee bit sharp, but it's brand new. I feel like I really want to get my lips done again. I find it so easy to line my lips when they're done. Because the kind of vermilion border was so defined. <laughs> Don't mess it aside. Hopefully I'll be fine my lipstick on. So that is the lips lines. I really like that colour. The formula is nice. It's so opaque and pigmented. Even if I'm useless. So I'm going to take the darker one. Why have I only got one? Right. I'm going to take the darker one first and put that kind of more around the kind of outer part of my lips. Maybe. So always first thing I do with a new lip product is just smell it. it smells okay. So. Okay, it's a funny colour choice for that lip liner. I 
Yeah, I'm not keen on that lip liner and that lip together, I don't think. Although, it's actually okay. I'm not the biggest fan of a really defined, darker kind of lip liner. Like, I know a lot of people do and it looks gorgeous on them, but just personally on myself, I'm not the biggest lover of it. But we'll try and pop this other one on as well. Or what I might do is just light that first one away. The only time I ever, ever use baby wipes is for swatches. I don't use wipes on my face at all. It's so bad for your skin. So it's just like away the scent of that. I should have seen which is which. So this one is in the colour piece of cake. It smells the same as the other one. I prefer this colour. Still don't love it with that lip liner, but that's fine. What I would usually do is um, colour in my lips with a lip liner, just so that I can kind of fade the lipstick into it, but this feels like a lot nicer formula actually than the one in the chilled one did, even though it's the same one, but those are the lips. That is such a bright colour. I'm just going to take the lip liner and just try and kind of feather it in a bit. Probably won't work because this is such a glossy formula. that made it worse so there we have it the final look if i was more a better youtuber then i would put like six earrings or something in a nice necklace but i'm not i'm so lazy but this is a finished look so the lips and the eyes and i'm not gonna lie like i love this like i'm filming my giveaway video after this and i'm not mad that this is my makeup for it Again, I prefer the smaller palette to the bigger one that happened with the child video as well. If you've not seen that one, go and check it out. I just think sometimes when you've got a bigger palette, it's a wee bit more overwhelming. You don't know what colours to use and all that. And I'm just trying to show you me wiping away that lash glue and it's it's on there, so that's good. So I need to stop doing things when I'm talking. So I am so not mad at how this came out. I'm mad at my hair. But I am really not mad at how this makeup came out. I think that is absolutely stunning. So I can't remember how much they wear. Hopefully I put up how much they wear on the screen. And the next video I film, the last video, hopefully that I film with my phone will be my giveaway video. So I think this will be up on Tuesday. My giveaway video will be up on Thursday. And then some other video will be up on Saturday. <laughs> I'm not quite sure which is which. So, but anyway... That is it, the finished look. If you did like this video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. That would really help me out knowing that you guys like if you like me doing these wee reviews of Revolution stuff. Please, 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 if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would love for you to join me. Like, it blows my mind that anyone would want to watch me. And if you've stayed to the end, then maybe you would like to see more. So please don't forget to subscribe. If you are already subscribed, then please don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified of the videos that I upload every single week. And also, please leave me a comment of which of the other palettes I should pick up. I have got three now. I've got the chilled one. I've got that one. I've got one more that I put in my last giveaway that I got two of. So I can't remember what other one I've got, but please let me know if there's any other ones that I should pick up because this has absolutely blown my mind how this has turned out. I'm so happy. So that is all from me. So bye.